Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Vo from Nifty Thrifty Dentist. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you a hack that's going to supercharge your Facebook ads. So let me ask you something. Why do people go on Facebook? They go on Facebook because they are looking at what their friends are doing. They go on Facebook because they want to tell everyone what they're doing. They go on Facebook because they're looking to get entertained. They're looking to really take it easy. They're, they're doing something that really just lets them pass the time. What they're not doing by going on Facebook is looking for a dentist, okay? They don't go on Facebook just to look for a dentist. You use Google for that, right? But what happens is the reason why Facebook ads are successful for some dentists is that they're able to fulfill that need. A patient may be scrolling through their feed, their news feed on Facebook, and maybe they're having a hard time chewing. Maybe they don't like their smile. Maybe they're in pain and they're not necessarily on Facebook looking for a dentist when, when the right ad comes along, bam, right? It catches their attention. It resonates. It connects with them. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about connection. We need to be able to connect with our patients on social media. That's how you're going to make your ads. That's the secret. The secret is all about connection. So when you create an ad that just says, hey, you got a toothache, click here, right? You know, we take care of these patients or whatnot. Yeah, they, you might get some clicks, but it's not going to resonate with people. Again, remember what Facebook is for. It is social media, okay? It's, they're going on there to see the highlights of everyone's day or year or, or their trips, they're looking to get entertained. They're looking to follow people. They're looking to kind of peek inside someone's life. So what we need to do is we need to craft an ad that connects with that person. It is authentic. So I want to show you some examples here of the ads that I have used that has been really successful. So I was just saying that the key, the hack of boosting your Facebook ads is authenticity and it's also connection. And so I'm showing you three ads have done really well for our practice using those principles. So the first ad here is, um, is this is a picture of my team and I uh, at the Texas Mission of Mercy. That is a service event where we treated over a hundred uh, hundred. Uh, families, uh, needy patients who haven't been to the dentist in a long time. And so uh, we, we've came together with other dentists to volunteer our time. We went there as a practice and we made posts on social media. But uh, as you guys know, a lot of your posts, unless you boost or do something, it, it doesn't really show up in a lot of news feeds. So we crafted this as an advertisement and we wanted our community to know that philanthropy and service is really big at our part of our practice. And so we that we highlight that right here. And we just said that our team is made up of caring dental professionals who, um, you know, serve our community. And this actually was an ad that was really successful in our practice. We had so many people say that, hey, we saw that you were uh, volunteering your time. We love that you do that. And we feel like that you're the right practice for us. The ad in the middle here is one that we wanted to let people know that we value long-term relationships. And what better way to show that than a timeline photo? This is a patient right here of us, uh, ours, that came in as a kindergartner. And her last recall visit is she was graduating. She graduated high school. So she was in our practice for a long time. And so we wrote here, it's common for us to see patients as kindergartens and then as graduating seniors. What does this tell people? It tells people that our practice is a practice that people feel safe, that they love, and they're willing to be in this practice for a long time. Um, this next patient here, again, instead of saying, 
a lot there are so many ads out there that say hey we take care of scared patients what we actually did is we actually used a patient uh as a like a testimonial as a case study and we talked about our patient joanne here who uh, she literally has like one of the most amazing lives, right? She's done everything, travel around the world, uh, rode mechanical bulls, skydive, uh, swam with sharks. But even the, even though she did all those really crazy things, death-defying feats, uh, she was still scared of the dentist. And now she is a raving fan. She comes to all our appointments. And we specialize in taking care of patients that are really scared. So again, when you're crafting your ads... A way to supercharge it is to make it connect with the viewer and make it authentic. So really, if you want to convey something about your practice, use a story from your own practice. Use a case study from a patient. Use an event that you did. Patients want to see that their dentist and dental practice is relatable to them. But there you have it. It's all about connection and being authentic. So when you're creating your ads, you know, make sure that you are crafting a message that really represents your practice, what you're all about, but also connects with the viewer on a personal level, right? On a deeper level. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. And also if you want notifications for new videos, Hit that little bell for the notifications as well. And also we have a really great Facebook group. It's called the Nifty Thrifty Dentist. Join that on Facebook. And I will see you guys next time.